There is nothing better than hitting a quality iron strike. Today we're talking about how to improve your ball striking and three simple things that anybody, no matter your age or your ability, that you can do immediately. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And I can tell you this, one of the greatest things about golf is when you hit a flush iron shot and the ball's up in the air, that feeling you get on that contact is what we love about the game of golf. But the thing is, is it doesn't happen as often as we want. So let's tell you how we can do that. Now, the first thing we're gonna talk about is something simple and that is ball position, all right? That's where it all starts, because in order to have a quality strike with an iron, you've gotta connect with the ball as the club is traveling in a slight downward motion. It's what we call the low point, meaning where the club reaches its lowest point in its motion, all right? It's what we call the low point. So, the first thing is ball position. Now, with an iron, here's where I want you to position the ball. I want the ball to be positioned typically off the logo, like on a shirt, somewhere between the logo and the buttons on your shirt. Now, how do you do this? Well, what I like to tell my students is to take your feet, put them together like so, put the ball right in the center. Now, I've got a seven iron. What I'm gonna do is get the face squared up, ball's in the center, I'm gonna take my lead foot and take a step towards the target, my trail foot, take a step away from the target. All right, this motion right here that I've just done, feet together, Little step, little step, puts the ball in the right spot. Boom, go ahead and swing it, and there it is. Now, a lot of golfers, they just make the, the mistake of the ball's in the wrong spot. Typically, two fall forward, so they get set in here, and the ball's way out here in front. Now, it's fine if you're hitting a hybrid or a driver, but when you're hitting an iron, you've gotta move that ball back a little bit so that it matches where the club is traveling in that downward motion so you get that strike, that feeling that you're looking for. So that's tip number one, check your ball position. Now the next one is what I like to call swing direction, okay? And then we're gonna talk about another one with movement of pressure, all right? Swing direction. So here's what you need to know. Now, I've done some great videos on this. If you haven't already, you gotta subscribe to our channel here at US Golf TV. Join the family of golfers. We are helping people all over the globe play great golf. I love hearing from you too. I love hearing from you, so leave some comments and ring the bell so you know when we got a new video coming out. But swing direction really impacts where the club hits the ground. So let me show you something once, all right? I do this in chipping a lot. We've got some wonderful videos on chipping. If you trouble, struggle with your chipping, check those out. But when I swing the club straight back and straight through, like this, okay, you can kind of see where it hits the ground, right? Kind of right in the middle of my feet, right? But as I start to swing the club inside, notice where that club hits the ground. See how it moves backwards? All right, now I'm gonna go back to square. Here we go, straight back, straight through. Now I'm gonna go the other direction. I'm going out and across. Notice where it starts hitting the ground? In front. That right there is gold. If you understand that, that is gonna help you with every club in your bag, all right? So let me show you what that means for your golf swing. Most of you, if you're struggling with contact, especially with your irons, when you swing the club back, you're taking it too far inside. All right, so when you do that, it goes inside. Okay, you can see that there, I bottomed out behind it. Weak, just kind of clunky, didn't go anywhere, actually hooked because I rotated the club face, not a good shot. What should you be doing? When you swing the club back, I call it the vertical line swing. It's so simple, it's crazy, all right? You're just gonna swing it straight back, right here. So the club goes straight back, it goes more up, that moves the bottom of the swing forward. Remember our example? Inside, bottom of the swing backwards, top, skull, chunky, more straight back, more vertical line. You start hitting the ground right where the ball is at. All right, does that make sense? Hopefully that does. So we've talked about two things. We got one more to talk about here. We have talked about ball position, where we want it, right? Logo of the shirt, buttons, right in that area. Talked about swing direction. The more I go around, the bottom of the swing goes backwards. Thin, skull, chunky, I want more straight back and up. Vertical line, right, vertical line swing. The last one, and if you've watched any of my videos before, you know I love this phrase 60-40. And sometimes I get criticized for it. That's okay. 
because sometimes people just don't understand what we're talking about. When we say 60-40, we're talking about in our address position, we want 60% of our weight on our lead foot, we want 40 on our trail foot, okay? And then early in the backswing, I'm talking like when the lead arm, okay, is parallel to the ground, I've gone from 60-40 to 80-20. All right, now what does that do? Number one is it improves tempo, it improves uh, rhythm, it, it, it just everything. You, you see those people when they swing the golf club, you're like, man, it's got beautiful tempo and beautiful rhythm. All right, it's like, they, it's, like a, it's watching somebody who knows how to dance. Like they, they just move grace, gracefully, they just move. But that comes from moving pressure, moving weight. That's why we start with 60 and we move to the right and we get to 80 early. Now, how does that tie into ball contact, striking contact? Well, we know, all right, and we've tested this, all right, on force plates and pressure plates, all types of stuff. At impact, the best ball strikers have more weight on their lead foot. So at impact, I don't know, 70%, 80%, 85, it depends on the style of golfer and the club they're hitting, but we know this for sure. There's more weight pressure on the lead foot. Now what happens, watch this. When I have my weight go on my lead foot, watch the club. When my weight goes on my lead foot, the club starts to track down and forward. See that? When my weight stays on my back foot, the bottom of the swing moves back and the club goes this way. Okay, so with that pressure, you're gonna start 60, 40, you're gonna push it, you're gonna rotate, and then you're gonna start going forward. And we dive into all this in details on drills and how to do it in our vertical line swing system. So here we go, let me hit a shot. I'm gonna start 60, 40. I'm gonna move early to the right, and then I'm gonna move back to the left, that rhythm, that flow. Oh yeah, best one of the day right there. Best one of the day. So good contact with the ball, that's why we love the game. It's one of the reasons we love the game. Multiple things can impact that. Ball position, swing direction, pressure movement. These three things right here are going to help you improve your ball contact.